Welcome to MathsMaster.org. Let's learn about angles in parallel lines, in particular alternate angles. When we're talking about angles in parallel lines, we have one pair of parallel lines, as you can see here, which we draw arrows on to show that those pair of lines are parallel. And then we have another straight line coming in which crosses that pair of parallel lines. And it's the angles formed around the two points where that line crosses the parallel lines that we're talking about when we're talking about angles in parallel lines. I've drawn those angles in blue here. Now there are certain angles in parallel lines which are pairs, if you like, and we call these alternate angles. And these are quite special angles which occur when we have angles in parallel lines. I've drawn a pair of alternate angles here. And as you can see, they're formed on the inside of the parallel lines and they link to the line which crosses them. A common way uh, that's taught to spot alternate angles is to look for a Z shape. And I've drawn that Z shape in here. Sometimes they're called Z angles, but the correct mathematical name is alternate angles. But it's the angles inside the Z shape that you can see here, which are the pair of alternate angles. Here is another pair of alternate angles. And this one is a bit trickier to spot these two angles are alternate angles because if you look at the red shape here you can see that it it still does look a bit like a Z but a Z that's been stretched out but still the angles inside the Z uh, are there and they are alternate angles. This angle rule is really simple once you've spotted a pair of alternate angles it's just that alternate angles are equal. They're exactly the same size as each other. With this angle rule, the hardest bit is actually spotting the angles. But once you have spotted a pair of alternate angles, you know that they are equal in size. This could be a typical alternate angles problem. So we have uh, angles inside parallel lines and we're told that one of them is 45 degrees and we've got an unknown angle of size x. But if you can spot that these two angles are actually alternate angles, we know that they are equal. They have, they're the same size. So angle x must be 45 degrees as well. Here's another typical angles in parallel lines problem. We've got a pair of angles. One is 135 degrees. Another one is an unknown angle of size x. Uh, and you can spot that these two angles are actually alternate angles. So they are equal in size. So angle x must also be 135 degrees. That was angles in parallel lines alternate angles. If you want to see some more great maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.